Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. In the last episode, Chloe left the Price House under a bit of a cloud, shall we say, and I, I still have so many feelings about that final scene. You know, David, he tried to be really genuine and sincere with Chloe, saying, hey, if you need any help processing your grief, I'm here. And Chloe was incredibly harsh with him. She was incredibly short. She shut him down super hard. Just, nope, you are the last person I would ever want to talk to my dad about. Who the fuck do you think you are? Nuh uh, no thank you. I don't need your help. But David's response to that. It was, it was just completely unnecessary. It was over the top. And quite frankly, I think it was shameful. I think David should feel ashamed of how he reacted there. One, he got super angry that she had rejected his help. But then he grabbed her. He physically put his hands on her and he moved his other hand as though he was going to backhand her. I'm sorry, what, what Chloe said was harsh? It wasn't backhand worthy. In fact, nothing Chloe could say is backhand worthy. If, you're, if your stepdaughter is mouthing off and your first instinct is, I'm gonna slap her across the face, you're not a good stepdad. And here's the thing, Chloe isn't even his stepdaughter at this stage. She is his girlfriend's kid. Like, David behaved so bad. Chloe was cruel. But David was disgraceful, in my opinion. Now, I believe we're at the junkyard. Chloe wanted to fix up the truck. better, but still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Um, I, I see that Joyce is texting us. Oh, God. Oh, God. It... We read this. Yeah. Uh, I. Hmm. I don't remember this though. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter if it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. I don't even know what to say to you. There's nothing to say. You went from someone like Dad to someone like David. And you say I'm the one who's slipping. Chloe, you're setting up David for an unfair comparison. Your father wasn't perfect. No one is. You don't trust me to be able to choose for myself. I care about David and I care about you. What do you want me to do? Chloe, I... No one's right in this situation. No one is right and no one is wrong. This is just, it's a situation where everyone is behaving shitty. And Chloe's behaving shitty for making her mum feel hopeless. 
Joyce is behaving shitty for bringing in a man into the home, bringing a man into the home who Chloe is uncomfortable with and just wanting Chloe to go with the flow. I do genuinely believe that Joyce, she just wants Chloe to be happy, but she's not willing to put in the work because it's hard and it's gonna be messy. And maybe to some extent it's because she can't afford it, which is sad, that isn't Joyce's fault. And David's a dick for making like he's going to hit her. I mean, in, in Life is Strange, we saw a reality where he is hitting her. And that probably wasn't the first time he had done it either. I just... The fact that Joyce didn't say anything. He grabbed her, he physically put his hands on her, and then he moved like he was gonna slap her, and Joyce didn't turn around and say, what the fuck do you think you are doing? Get your hands off my daughter, who the fuck do you think you are? I don't care what she's done, that is not your child, you have no right to lay your hands on my daughter like that. The fact that Joyce didn't immediately jump in with that, that is probably why David thinks, oh, I can just slap her. He clearly feels bad about doing it, but he's doing it. He is using corporal punishment with a child that isn't his, and that I think is wrong. If you want to use corporal punishment with your kids, okay, as long as it's not excessive, but you can't be doing that with someone else's kid. Like, God damn. Okay, so we have the fuckamajig, some fucking thinger, the fuel filter, the serpentine belt, the battery post, and the radiator cap. We also have the radio, which I'm not gonna turn on, and I the toolbox. I can definitely box. see some problems. I just need to match them to the right tool. Okay, let's let's check the battery. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Okay, a good enough grip. So, pliers? Oh, so we... Wrench, screwdriver, and pliers. Oh no, in that case we want a wrench. Not helping. Okay. Is, is it pliers? Was my instinct correct? I don't know jack shit about cars, so... There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Okay. Uh, we have the radiator cap. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Okay, fair. The serpentine belt? It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Looks like the serpentine belt could use some help. I don't know why my brain is saying screwdriver, but I have no idea why. I, th I think it's probably because there was a, a puzzle in The Walking Dead Season 1 where you were fucking about with a belt and you had to use a screwdriver. Um, it's, a, it's a belt. Maybe pliers? Not helping. You know, I'm gonna I'm try out the screwdriver. Did The Walking Dead set me up for success? Nothing doing. Go the Walking Dead, how could you? How could you, Lee? You betrayed me with tools. Okay. Not helping. Wrench? Oh, 
<sighs> Much better. You know, she is really good with this. This thing is gone to the fuck up. Apprenticeship or something at a garage or like like any type of mechanics and I think that would have been so good oh, for that her. Fuck a jig looks pretty dirty. That's gotta be a problem. Well we'll get to the fuck a jig in a minute. Gross. But also kind of inspiring. Let's graffiti it. Hmm. <laughs> what do I see? A raven or a lion? I mean, I see a rib cage. Um, the raven is her dad. The lion is Rachel, because that's that's kind of the the theme. Rachel's kept on going on about how she's a Leo, and then we we always have the raven popping up in those dreams with her dad. What do I see? That a raven or a lion? I, like I said, I don't see either of those things. Let's go with Raven. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that makes sense. When life gives you gunk, make, uh, art, I guess. Why not? The yellow, the fuck a jig. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. It's something small, like a screwdriver. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Okay, yeah, this is all about the fire. Air quality health advisory, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon, at uh, 45 minutes past seven in the morning on Sunday, May 9th, 2010. Culmination State Park, fire remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. Oof. Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course.
please? I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? That look. That look that passed between Frank and Rachel. They're fucking. Either they're fucking or they are about to be fucking. One of the two and a... That scene with Rachel where she kisses Chloe and they're making out in the ash and she's like, doesn't this show you how serious I am? When you know she's already hitting on Frank. Mm. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, cool, dude. I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you, she's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't. Fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Ladies. Ladies, you need to run the fuck away. <laughs> this guy scares me. He's He's got those crazy eyes. He's got those crazy eyes where you're like, oh no, he's gonna fuck me up. Um. Oh god, what do we say? If we say no, then he's going to be like, why the fuck are you lying to me? And if we say yeah, then he's going to be like, I don't like you doing that. We're fucked. We're fucked, no matter what we do. I'd, 
I'd rather not lie to him. Again, he's got crazy energy. He's got crazy energy that you shouldn't be fucking about with. And I... He seems like the kind of person to be like, you lied to me, therefore I'm going to cut out your tongue and I'm going to stick it to my wall. <laughs> like, he's just got that vibe about him. So, like, we t let's not lie. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? A friend, why do you care so much? Not your business. I don't want to tell this guy jack shit. Again, he crazy. He crazy. You don't tell crazy Jack shit. Let's let's turn it back on him. Why do you care so much? Because fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, she's not having an emotional response like, how dare you call my dad that. Um. Who cares? He cares because he's a drug dealer and James is the district attorney. That's why he cares. I think... I think Chloe is smart enough to know that Rachel being here is putting her in danger. The fact that she was kind of telling her with her eyes, shut up, girl, you need to shut up and you need to shut up now. That tells me that Chloe, she has the wits to realize that we're in a really bad position. We're in a fucking stupid position. We need to go. We need to leave. So let's just agree with him, agree with the guy and just walk away. You're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch! Get the knife! Get the knife, girl! Rachel! What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! Hey! Hold on, okay? Rachel? No! 
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Oof. Damn. Damn. Oh, that, that kind of makes me feel very squeamish. Um, when it comes to arteries, it, oof. Oh, it sends shivers down my spine. My, my knees literally feel like jelly right now. Oh, my God. Oof. One, Frank. Frank right there. Going gut against a, a guy with a knife who he had just seen use the knife, who is also his friend. And he jumped right in there and was just like, Chloe, fucking go. Go, bitch, go. I... Ooh. I'm trying to figure that out. It's my fault. I think... I kind of feel like Chloe would blame herself. She loves Rachel. And how do I put this? Me, I'm like, Rachel brought herself to the junkyard. She asked Chloe, hey, can you, can you find Sarah for me? Rachel does have some responsibility there. Also, yes, Damon had the knife out, but it wasn't necessarily violent. Like he was, he was threatening you know, Chloe and Rachel with it, but there's a pretty good chance that he might not have used it. Rachel escalated things by smacking him over the head whilst he was turned away with a, with a plank. And then at that stage, it's like, you've disrespected me. You disrespected me by attacking me not once, but twice because she pushed him over before. So now he's like, well, I'm crazy. Therefore, I have to stab you now. Like... Rachel had blame in that. They could have ran. They could have legged it. Um, but they didn't. This is someone that Chloe loves. This is someone who, for the first time in years, makes Chloe feel happy. I think I think she'd be blaming herself. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. 
but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? To ask about Sarah to scare us away. You know, James is being remarkably chill. I'm assuming he's gone into, like, district attorney mode to cope with the stress because he is being remarkably chill. Um... Was his behavior to scare us away? Because I don't think it was. He was being threatening, but I think the whole purpose of that was, why is everyone asking about this chick? Who is she? She's new to town, and suddenly everything seems to be going on, uh, you know, about and with her. So yeah, I... I think he wants to know if Sarah is going to step in on his business. He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing Of course. Is that how it became violent? He wanted dirt on you, Rachel got angry. I think... I mean, he did want dirt on James, and that's what made Rachel angry. I think I think Chloe would be trying to diminish Rachel's culpability in this. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? Well, here's the thing. He... He clearly already knew, but it was it was us that said Rachel's name. I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened, and then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What about Damon? What about Sarah? I mean, right now... <laughs> Who cares about Sarah? Damon's out there and he's probably pissed. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um, Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Steph, how's Mikey? <sighs> Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. <sighs> I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. 
you should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Ooh, flipping heck. That, that was such a bad injury. It, it really is lucky that Chloe drove like she did, damn. Damn, and with that, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, hopefully we can check up on her. You know, see if she's... See if she's okay. Gosh, she must have lost so much blood. Um, But yeah, that'll, that'll have to wait for next time. Until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.